t-shirts and things like that are branded with the official Warlock sigil designed by Magister Dr. Robert Johnson. It is the only place where you can buy official Warlock. The Jimmy Psycho Experiment. Our good friend and fellow Legionnaire, Jimmy Psycho, is at it again for the holiday season. If you are looking for some swanky holiday tunes, pick up Ho Ho Ho by the Jimmy Psycho Experiment. 13 classic holiday tunes played in that easy listening Psycho Lounge vibe. Preview and purchase at jimmypsycho.bandzoogle.com slash ho dash ho dash ho. Ya ho. <laughs> Bunch of hoes. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, this episode is brought to you by We Are Satanists, the history and future of the Church of Satan by Honorary Legionnaire and Magistra Templi Rex of the Church of Satan, Blanche Barton. We Are Satanist is a comprehensive and exhaustive guide to the history of the Church of Satan from its founding, through her taking the reins as the High Priestess, to the current High Priest and High Priestess, Magus Peter H. Gilmore and Magister Peggy Nadramia. It includes huge sections about not only what happened in the Church of Satan throughout history, but also what is happening right now within the ranks of the Infernal Empire. It's also a giant brick you could probably defend yourself quite well with. Yes, so make sure you that can. you pick up We Are Satanists, available at satanme.com. And I think that's it. everybody. No, we got one more. Do we have one more? Yes. Well, who is that? Radio Free Satan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, I, honestly, I, I remember at this point, but I, I like the gag, so I just keep Yeah, it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um... No, I just wanted to make sure that they get a shout out because, you know, hey, they host us and I do the Metro, which I hit big 600 on. Uh, of course, Reverend or uh, Reverend Bill M and stuff like that. So I just want to make sure they get the, a little plug in there too. So. Radio, radio, radio. Yep. <laughs> yes, Radio Free Satan is the uh, the longest running uh, internet radio station within the the greater satanic milieu. It's been going for a long time, and uh, there are just numerous podcasts available from uh, from shows that don't even get updated anymore that you can listen to back episodes of, all the way up to some of the best music and comedy clips. Um, We've got a, a podcast for classical music, for goth industrial, for punk. We've got commentary shows like this one. Radio Free Satan is the media arm of the Church of Satan mm-hmm. for, uh, in, a, in a large way. And it's a fantastic organization, and we wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for them. So thank you to Radio Free Satan. And for those of you who are listening to this on another platform than Radio Free Satan, you can visit RadioFreeSatan.com to listen to all these amazing podcasts. I think that covers it, right?
Kendime kamyon bir gamyon aldım. Aç, e, aç, e, kutu açılışını yapacağız. Evet kutunun içinden bir tane şöyle bir kullanma kılavuzu çıkıyor. Şöyle. Fatura. Bir tane tabancanın şu kumdağa takabilmek için şey çıkıyor. Genişletme çıkabilmek için. Bir tane de çıkıyor. Evet bir tane şarjör çıkıyor. Evet şarjör çıkıyor. Evet şimdi tabancanın şakırı takımı şeye verelim. İlk önce şarjör çıkarıyoruz. Sonra mekanizmanı geri atlıyoruz. Şuradaki şeyleri ikisine de bastırıyoruz. Böyle. Evet şu anda. Şuradan ayarlanıyor. Evet, şuradan hop ayarlanıyor. Şurada görünüyor. Evet. Böyle. İsterseniz böyle bir tutabiliyorsunuz. Şuradan çıkartıp yani ray değil de yani şuradan çıkartabiliyorsunuz şuradan şöyle çıkartabiliyorsunuz laptop ekleyebiliyorsunuz ee, bu kadar takma işlemi de şu şekilde ilk önce R'ye geçiriyorsunuz sonra şu ikisini ön aşağı çekiyorsunuz şöyle devamlıyorsunuz şu anda ölmedi. Neyse video buraya kalıyor da. İzlediğiniz için teşekkür ederim. Görüşürüz.
lost at this Please. point. Please. We cannot trust at this we point. We cannot trust at this we point. We cannot trust at this point. We cannot trust at this point. Night after night, I had the same nightmare. A man with a knife chased me. It didn't matter where I was or whom I was. You were 
car out of nowhere and kicked me. Around corners, down unlit streets and alleys, through abandoned buildings, he was always in pursuit. To make things even less pleasant, the faster I tried to run, the slower my legs would go. It was like trying to sprint underwater. My legs grew heavier and just before capture, I awoke in a cold sweat. My wife looked at me in a alert state of mind. The want to sleep was a threat to my job security, leading my boss to ask whether I held a second job. He felt I was sleepwalking through the days. I decided to end this dream. Yeah. The next time the stranger pursued me in the dream state, I could come. I turn around and demand, what do you want from me? And after all, the living master has emphasized hope. I hope one can learn from dreams. Confronting a dream situation face to face is better than running from it. I will write it to myself. Then I, I lay in bed, ready for action. I repeat it to myself. Tonight, I am going to confront the man with, with the night. The man is with the night. Tonight, I am going to ask him what he wants from me. Eventually, I slipped into repose. In no time, I will be refreshed for a few nights rest, but without the recall of a single dream. It was a better day at work than usual. That night, I repeated my inner direct to confront the man in my dreams. Again, nothing came of it. Was this good? Was getting rid of one silly nightmare worth wiping out all of my other dreams? My boss didn't care. He was happy to have his employee back full time. The third night, I repeated the postulate, but I felt more detached. All of a sudden, I woke up in the dream state, flipping through albums in a record store. My search was for one particular. What did it look like? No idea. However, I had every confidence of recognizing it once my fingers touched it. Don't give up on me if I spotted the desired album on a wall rack. It's name was Look at Yourself. The cover was an actual mirror, and it was a strange feeling to see my reflection staring back at me. A very sad face indeed. The reflection held yet another image. You'll never amount to anything. It was the awful man with the knife. I took off at a fast run out of the store, then on through the mall. The familiar footsteps hung in hot on my trail. The faster I tried to run, the slower my legs would turn. I resolved to confront this mysterious stranger. So I stopped dead in my tracks and spun around. What do you want from me? I demanded. Thank God, the panty man said. I thought you'd never stop running away. Shutting my eyes, I was startled to hear an odd grating sound. My eyes snapped open. The man crouched. Shut my feet. Was using the knife like a saw to cut a ball and chain. Then with compassion on his face, he said, "You've got to stop blackballing yourself." There, now you're free. I was awoken and recorded the dream. Well, you see, now I have a new job. The dream was the dream. I had to hold myself back. There was an opening for a much better job in another company that I hadn't felt worthy to apply for. So the opportunity came to nothing. Echoes from my past included, you'll never amount to anything. It was a message off repeated and said, Into old, well established grooves of thought. This recording thing over and over. A reason to keep sabotaging my life? The next day after work, I dropped the list of all my jobs. Confident tonight, I was prized at the breakfast. The next step was to read a resume from the list and submit it to the other company. They called me in for an interview that morning. The company hired me on the spot. Since the stream experience, I have released many old recordings of fear and replaced them with a fact. Whether hideous or beautiful, my dreams have been blessings full of truth.
Thank you.